Hi everyone, welcome back to Crypto Research. I'm just about to get into our VeChain technical analysis update for today. Just before I do get into this technical analysis update, do make sure that you are subscribed to the channel if you are enjoying this daily content, and definitely do join that Discord group if interested. In that Discord group, we've got around 50 members right now, and they're all trying to make each other profitable, sharing their, their ideas and discussions, and I'm actually getting involved in them discussions daily as well. So definitely do join if interested. I'll leave a link in the description below. So on this 4 hourly time frame, I do believe there to be a bit of a bullish expanding triangle pattern playing out here. And this would only be validated if we did see this um, back test. So if we saw this candle or the next few candles, find a support in this 6.5 cent region, which would also um, align with this, uh, with this descending support line, which has been support since when we broke out today, guys. So if we did see that happen, this would actually validate this 6.6 um, .6 cent trade. And we'd be going on to that region and hopefully we'd backtest and see that 6.9 cent hit as well as it validate a bullish um, continuation trend. So that's our bullish scenario and I just want to share with you a really key level that we do need to get above guys and it's this 6.9 cent region. And the reason that this 6.9 cent region is such a key level is because it's the 55 EMA in the weekly time frame and with VeChain and a lot of cryptocurrency assets, we do have a history of if we were to backtest the 55 EMA in the weekly time frame, see that candle close, then we do usually go towards that 34 EMA. And that 34 EMA is at 8.9 cent region. And we found that as a really key resistance um, from around the 3rd of July all the way to the 5th. So that's a really key resistance level. And I do think that if we were to continue to get above these resistances, backtest them on the 4 hourly, um, and definitely see that weekly candle closing above the 6.9 cent region that we would be on for that 8.9 cent in the coming um, kind of weeks. So if I do just show you the bearish scenario as well guys as nothing's validated at the minute essentially if we were to fall through this uh, line the 6.5 cent region try and get above once again on that resistance fail to do so and if we did manage to fall below the 6.4 cent which is really key guys and I'm going to get into why shortly I do think we'd be going towards that 6.3 and if we did actually fall below that 6.3, I believe that we'd be going towards that 5.9 cent. And essentially this 5.9 cent region is something that we were bought up from on the 22nd of June. However, you must be wondering why I believe that this is um, potentially going to be validated in the future. So the reason that I, I believe that this is potentially going to be valid in the future is because of this bearish rectangle pattern. And you can see that this is a neckline. So this is the top of the pattern where we wicked her for resistance. And that's around that 6.8 cent region. So if we do actually fall at, at the bottom of this pattern, I do think that we will actually be seeing a further correction for the VeChain token. Perhaps like the last correction we'll see before we do see that nice um, run for the VeChain token. But this RSI is at around the 43 and a half uh, region. And what this means is that we could um, see a further correction towards that overextended level of the 30 point. Or we could also, if we saw a kick in the volume, we would actually be able to see um, the price action move up and hopefully we'd see that back test of, the, of this um, support sorry, and then we'd see that bullish uh, continuation pattern occur. We do need to see a close above this 10.2 cent region on that 20 EMA if we do want to see a continuation in this bull run. So it is a really important level guys and also a really important level if we were to see this um, bullish reversal trend. I've actually shown you in a few videos this 9.35 cent if we see that back test on the 4 hourly of the 9.35 cent, it will kind of foreshadow, foreshadow to me that we will be hitting this 10.2 cent region, which you can see has been a key um, resistance level since we back tested it on the 12th towards the 14th of June, and also when we found a resistance on the 18th towards the 20th. So really key levels there guys, do make sure to have them mapped out in your charts. When we do get closer to these levels, I will actually be showing you some better um, kind of resistance levels, which are further on in this price action, like this 11 cent, the 13, the 14, the 17 cent, and then this 23 cent region um, will start to look uh, much less intimidating than it is at a minute. So this is just what a price action is doing, guys. We do just have to follow it in um, stages. This is why I like to have all these lines drawn out. I like to make sure that we know exactly where every single support level is every single resistance level is and um, we can kind of just trade from there so yeah we are you can see here guys just whilst i'm speaking you can see that we have been finding that nice um back test we do want this candle to close above this this region and um that'll actually be a really nice trade so if you did manage to see that close close guys the next candle is actually opening in that in that green kind of candle it's gonna back test and i do think we are gonna hit that 6.6 .6 cent region 
hopefully go on towards that 6.9, see the candle close on that um, at 12 a.m. today. And if we actually did see that weekly candle closing above the 6.9 cent, that's going to be really nice for the VeChain token. So do make sure to watch out for that, guys. Thank you for watching this video. I really do appreciate everyone's support. Do make sure to join that Discord group in the link below in the description. And uh, definitely subscribe to the channel if you are enjoying this daily content. Do make sure to have a really nice day, guys.